Well, new numbers out from the Congressional Budget Office claim that the cost of the Affordable Care Act, often referred to as Obamacare, will actually be almost twice as much as lawmakers first claimed. So how could the numbers be that far off? Ben has the reality check. Well, what we're talking about is the cost of implementing this federal health care bill from 2012 to 2021. The numbers the CBO reported just one year ago, vastly different than what they're reporting today. The new Congressional Budget Office projections show that President Obama's health care law will cost $1.76 trillion over 10 years, rather than the $940 billion originally advertised. If you'll remember, when the Affordable Care Act was signed into law, lawmakers promised that the cost would not exceed $1 trillion. So how could the numbers be so different now? Well, Democratic lawmakers used a number of accounting methods when passing the national health care legislation. And one of those tactics was to delay the full implementation of the law until 2014. By doing that, when the CBO scored the bill, they only scored it for six years, 2014 to 2020. By doing that, the law appeared cheaper under the CBO standard 10-year budget window. So on paper, the bill did meet President Obama's pledge that the legislation would cost around $900 billion over 10 years. But now, those numbers put out by the CBO completely changed those projections. The CBO expects a weaker economy over the next 10 years than they had previously. And they say that from 2012 through 2021, the federal government will spend $168 billion more on Medicaid than it expected just a year ago. $97 billion less on subsidies for people to purchase insurance on those government-run exchanges. $20 billion less on tax credits to small employers. That works out to a $51 billion increase in the gross cost of expanding coverage from what the CBO estimated just a year ago. So here's what you need to know. The Supreme Court will rule later this summer on whether the bill is constitutional. We'll see what happens when that takes place. But by 2022, according to the CBO, 3 million fewer people will have health insurance through their employer. 17 million Americans will be added to Medicaid, and 22 million people will be getting coverage through government-run exchanges. So even if the bill is ruled constitutional, the cost of it may prove to be too expensive as millions of Americans shift to that government exchange. And that is Reality Check. If you'd like to make your voice heard on this story, just head over to Ben's Facebook page. You can find it by simply searching Ben Swan WXIX. Well,